Okay, over here we have a graph of the situation. This is the line y equals 18 minus x. This blue line is the line y equals 3x minus 6. You can find the point of intersection by setting 18 minus x equal to 3x minus 6 uh, and <clears throat> solving for x. And you find out that when x is 6, y is 12. Uh, there's two ways to do the problem. We can use the shell method, which means that we will be taking 2 pi times the integral from, in this case, 0 to 6. We're integrating along the x-axis of um, the average radius, which is just x, which is this expression right here. In other words, the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell, a typical shell, is just x. And then times the height of the shell, which is top minus bottom, this y value minus this y value. So this is top minus bottom. And this whole expression in here represents the height of the shell. And of course, dx represents the width of the shell. So there's the shell method. You get this 904.77. Uh, and this proves that you can get an exact value, 288 pi. If you want to use the disk method, then a typical disk would uh, change. We have to, there is one, and that's an x distance. So we have to solve this uh, y equals 18 minus x for uh, x, x equals 18 minus y. There we go. The disk method is a pi times the definite integral from a to b of outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. But in our case, the inner radius, there is no inner radius. So we're not using the washer method. We're using the disk method. Uh, so from for this interval, from 12 up to 18, we're using x, this x distance is 18 minus y. In other words, for this y value, that distance is 18 minus whatever y is. For this region down in here, and I'll change the color to red, there's a typical disk. And for that y value, the x distance is this y plus 6 over 3. We're integrating from negative 6 up to 12. Outer radius squared minus 0 squared. Uh, so for disk method, it's pi times the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. You can see you get the same answer either way. Hopefully you know how to multiply and simplify all this stuff and find an antiderivative from 0 to 6 and multiply by 2 pi. That's what you're doing. There you go. Hope that helped. Uh, post a comment if you're not clear on something. Thank you.